one of the applications of trig equations has got to do with using equations to figure out which values of an angle make an identity invalid or undefined. Okay, so the maths is easy to do. The solving of the equations is easy, but knowing what you're supposed to do when you see the question is going to be the new thing. So when you see something like this, first of all, it's big and there's fractions and it seems to be an equation. Okay. But there is, it's not, this part is not the equation. So this is the identity. Remember, there's two ways in which we use the word identity, and this is one of them. You sometimes had to prove identities. So you'd have to like faff around with this and prove it equals one. But that's also not what's being asked. So it's really in the wording of the question, for which values of the angle will this thing be invalid? So now it requires us to understand our theory of trig. We've got to remember something about the about tan graphs. Remember when you were drawing tan graphs and they would have had asymptotes and every 90 degrees on the, the normal tan graph you got this thing that didn't exist. So what we have to remember, and this is just theory knowledge which we're going to apply now, is that the tan graph is essentially invalid because it has asymptotes at 90 degrees and then thereafter look what I'm doing there plus k180 because it's every 180 degrees from 90 onwards okay so what we're saying there is that this thing this thing is going to be a problem if the degrees, if those degrees are going to be 90 plus K180. So it's all fine, but this whole thing is going to be completely invalid if I end up with a value where 2B is equal to 90 degrees or any version of the 90 degrees. And we start off by looking for that. So you always check, is there a tan? And if there's a tan, let's just go and figure out what's going to make it invalid. And then the counterintuitive part is you're going to be writing an equation for what you say is invalid. Okay, so what we know, it's going to be invalid if that 2B is 90 degrees. So I'm setting up an equation. I'm saying, well, here is where it's invalid. It's where 2B is 90 degrees or every time it repeats. Okay, so 2b can't be 90. I'm saying it is, but I'm saying it's for when it's invalid. Okay, solving this now, b would have to be 45 degrees plus k90. So for what values of beta will this be invalid? Well, if beta is 45 degrees and every 90 degrees repeats. The other thing which probably will be quite intuitive is that you're looking for any denominators and if they equal zero, obviously you have something that is undefined, okay, which makes it invalid. So that means that I need to say, well, if this denominator is zero, this whole thing's invalid. So now I'm setting up an equation and I'm saying, well, if sine of two beta was equal to zero, then I would have something invalid. Okay, so you might feel like you need to cross that through, but you mustn't because you're trying to say for which values is it invalid, in which case you're saying, well, if this does exist, so you've got to make it exist and then solve. Okay, so my next bit here is to just solve this equation. So I'm going to shift sign that and I'm going to get, well then 2b is 0 degrees. Okay, um, what quads am I in? I take 0 as positive. Hey, so it's going to be quad 1 and quad 2. So 2 beta equals 0. That is my reference angle. And then I move into the quads. So I'm going to say in quad 1, in quad 1 I've got 2 beta equals 0 plus k360 degrees 
and that'll mean that beta equals 0, I'm dividing by 2 now, plus k180, and at that point I'm done. And then in quad 2, I'm going to say 2 beta equals 180 minus 0, plus k360, and then that means I'm going to divide through by 2, so I'm going to have beta equals 90 degrees plus K, 180. So I finish off with three answers. The one that I worked out with the tan, this one, and that one. And for all of those values of beta, this identity is not valid. Right, so with these questions where you've got to find where they're undefined, you're looking at two things. You're looking at tans, wherever they are. And then you're not looking at other numerators. You're just looking at denominators and you want to make sure they can't be zero. Okay. So I first want to check out that one. And I know that um, X can't be 90 plus K180. So there's only the one solution there. Okay. So my first answer to this question is for when X is equal to 90 degrees plus K180. So that is my answer for when this whole thing might not be valid. Okay, so if that's the case, the other one I want to look at is the denominator. Okay, so I want to say, well, when the denominator equals zero, I've obviously got something that's undefined. Okay, so I'm going to solve this. And of course, because there's a 2x, my brain is wondering whether or not I've got to expand. Let's just Faff with that a little bit. Negative 1, if I move the negative 1 across. So cos of an angle is negative. No expansion necessary. Okay, because it's not about trying to get some big complicated thing into something smaller. I'm just saying this angle. The angle happened to be a double, but it doesn't change anything when I do my reference angle now. It just means I get one of those ones where my reference angle refers to 2x and not x. Okay, so cos is negative, so it's going to be quad 2 and quad 3. And then my reference angle will be when I've shift cos the negative the 1. So I'm going to get 2x equals 0. Okay, at this point it's the reference angle. And then from there I go into quad 2 and quad 3. In quad 2 I'm going to say 2x equals 180 degrees minus 0. plus k360, and then I'm just going to have x is, sorry, 180 divided by 2 will give me 90. So x will be 90 plus k180, dividing everything through by 2. In quad 3, I'm going to have 180 plus. It actually gives me the same answer. So I'm, so I'm going to get 2x equals 180 degrees plus 0. plus k360, and then that's going to give me x is 90, plus k180. Okay, have a look at something here. When I did the tan one, I got 90 plus k180. When I did the cos one, I got two versions of the same thing. So there's only one solution, there's only one solution for where x must have a value to make this whole thing invalid. So my final solution is simply where x equals 90 degrees plus k180. There's only one problem. There's only one area where this whole thing would be invalid. You, you could get several different ones, but I do find with these questions you get quite a few duplicates. So just always summarize your answer where you only put down a duplicate once.